If you play games on your PC, Windows is still the operating system to use. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're going to talk about some general fixes you can try out if your games are lagging or stuttering on Windows 11. Now the first thing that you need to do is to adjust your in-game settings. Now this could be anything uh, from lowering the resolution to lowering the output graphic details and so on and so forth but depending on the strength of your computer these settings will vary from configuration to configuration so if you're getting a bit too much lag try turning the settings down next up you can also try to look at your gpu settings now depending on whether you use an intel nvidia or amd gpu the way you change these settings is going to be different i have an nvidia gpu so i'm going to use the nvidia app once the nvidia app opens up head over to graphics and then you can see all of your different games uh, right here so if i select for example the witcher 3 uh, you can see that i have all of the different game settings right here so make sure that these games are um, these settings are properly set up if you're on something like counter-strike you can see that you can uh, have in-game settings right here and then the preview recommended value for uh, your system on nvidia so you can try and optimize your games in just one click if you're using the nvidia app or you can just try and dial down a few settings make sure that your settings are also set for drivers properly so for example uh, i've set the cuda gpu to my rtx 4060 um, these things are unsupported uh, some things are off uh, maximum frame rate this is an important one to check if your game is locked at a 60 fps it could be your driver settings that are locking it there and then uh, use maximum so power management make sure it's set to maximum performance everywhere and uh, yeah so a simple few tweaks in your driver settings can also help fix uh, this problem if they don't the next step is to update your gpu driver so once again depending on which uh, gpu you're using you'll have a different experience i use nvidia so uh, in the nvidia app head over to the driver section and in here just click this small button to check if you have the latest update available now also one thing to make sure is that you're using a game ready driver and not the studio driver game ready driver provides the best gaming experience while the studio driver provides the best experience for creative apps once you're done uh, updating your driver you can also go ahead and uh, like try and reinstall it if the update part if you don't have an update or it, if it doesn't work moving on you can try plugging in your laptop if you're playing games on a laptop if you're not uh, running a laptop via the ac adapter or you're running it on battery that can cause a drop in performance this is just something that's coded into laptops to protect themselves and to make the battery last a bit longer so if you're playing games plug in your laptop and while we're on the laptop performance section you can also try upping your performance mode so for example on my hp omen if i open up the omen gaming hub you will see that i have three different performance modes i just need to get this thing open and move to this desktop yep so if i go to my laptop here and then i go to performance control you can see that i have three different modes and i'm currently running on a balanced now obviously i'm not going to get as much performance on uh, the balanced mode as i'm going to get on the high performance mode and if i'm on battery i would be running on eco which will severely limit my system's performance so if i switch to the performance mode um, i will get faster fans and i will be able to send more power to my cpu and gpu in order to get better performance in games so whenever you're gaming make sure you're plugged in and that you're using the highest performance mode available another thing that you can try out is to disable dynamic uh, tick now how do we do that doing it is also very simple all you have to do is just press windows key plus x to open up the quick access menu and click on terminal admin once it opens up we are going to type in three very simple commands that you will see on your screen one at a time so the first one being bcd edit flash set disable dynamic tick and then click on yes 
once you've run this the next one is going to be bcd edit slash set and uh, this is going to be use platform clock true and then finally i'm going to type in bcd edit set psc sync policy enabled or enhanced sorry once you're done running these three commands go ahead and uh, restart your pc and you should start seeing an improvement in performance or low stuttering finally if nothing else works your best bet is to just go ahead and look for a windows update other than a hardware upgrade so uh, press windows key plus i to open up the quick uh, windows settings head over to windows update and just click on the check for updates button to make sure that you have the latest updates available because in most cases windows updates tend to fix small issues that might be causing problems with your system if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video